Hey guys, it's Michael here with Digital Media Pro. Today I'm in my edit suite at Around the Corner Productions, and today's video is on parametric equalizers, specifically the parametric equalizer inside Adobe Premiere CC. I use an equalizer in nearly every project I edit. Today we're going to look at the parametric equalizer and three scenarios where you might use it in an upcoming project. We're going to call these three scenarios sweetening, notching, and carving. First, let's take a look at the equalizer. Okay, to start with, you can find your effect uh, under your effects panel, and we're just gonna search for parametric equalizer. And to apply it, just drag and drop it on top of an audio clip. It's gonna pop up here in your, under your effects controls, and to edit it, uh, just click on the edit button. First off, let's look at the two axes. On the bottom here, we've got Hertz, HZ, on the X axis, and this is frequencies. So when we're down here, these are lower frequencies, and as we come up, these are middle range frequencies, and then these are higher frequencies over here on the right. On the y-axis, um, we have decibels, and zero is zero decibels, uh, zero amplification or filtering, um, and if we were to take a node like node 4 and pull it up, we are actually amplifying it at this frequency level um, up to here, about 40 decibels. If we pull this back down, pull it below zero, uh, we're actually going to be filtering these frequencies out of our mix. Okay, right now I'm going to turn off all the frequencies except for one. Uh, we're gonna play back a little bit of audio so you can hear what exactly um, uh, Equalizer does. People come from all around to visit, live, and study in Iowa City. In 2016, it was number nine on the top 100 best places to live list. As you can hear there, um, when I was towards the left, I was amplifying the lower frequencies, and as I swept the node across the screen, I started amplifying higher and higher frequencies. Now that we got the basics of a parametric equalizer, let's take a look at sweetening. Sweetening is actually the most common way that we think about using an equalizer. It's simply amplifying or filtering out different frequencies to make an audio track sound better. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, in my timeline right here, I've got that same narration track, and it's uh, for a project that I'm working on. Uh, we actually recorded it here in my studio. Um, it's recorded on an Electro Voice RE27. And the RE27 is really nice, except um, it has a really flat frequency. Uh, so this clip here could kind of benefit from having a little sweetening. So I just dragged and dropped this parametric equalizer onto my clip. I'm going to open this up. And now I want to kind of boost the bass frequencies a little bit and uh, raise the uh, higher frequencies a little bit as well. Uh, Adobe's done a nice job here, and they have actually have uh, a preset called Vocal Enhance. And if I put this in here, uh, it, it kind of has these presets for me. So if you look down here, um, what it's doing here is it's lowering the lower frequencies, stuff that's you know lower than the human voice, it's amplifying slightly some bass frequencies in the voice. It's notching out some of the uh, lower, maybe more annoying frequencies um, here in the mid lows, pretty flat in the middle. And then it's adding uh, some higher frequencies right here on the end, which is going to add some clarity. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to uh, increase these a little bit more uh, just so you can um, just so you can hear it a little bit better. And um, I'm gonna play this back. Up here in the upper left-hand corner, we've got a power button. Uh, this basically bypasses um, the effect as we're playing it back. So I'm gonna click this on and off and you'll hear the bass and the, and the treble frequencies turn on and off. I'm gonna start with it off. People come from all around to visit, live, and study in Iowa City. In 2016, it was number nine on the top 100 best places to live list. Our next entrepreneur, Chris Clickgard, came from the other... As you can hear, this audio clip uh, benefited by giving it a little uh, bass and treble frequencies to sweeten up the sound a little bit. The next technique I'm going to show you is called notching. And notching is where you've got some audio that you didn't want there. Maybe it's a computer humming in the background, and you want to take that frequency range out. So let's take a look at an example. 
So in this clip, uh, you're going to hear a lot of um, room noise in the bass frequencies. Uh, if you can't hear them uh, through YouTube, uh, maybe uh, grab a pair of headphones uh, or uh, some nicer speakers and, and you'll be able to hear them. Um, we're going to go back, we're going to grab this parametric equalizer, drag and drop it on top, go back up to our uh, effects panel, hit edit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off all of these extra nodes uh, that we don't need. Um, I'm actually just going to leave this one on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the frequency uh, that I want to get rid of. And to do that, I'm going to start here at the beginning. And I'm just going to take this uh, first node and sweep it across until I find that specific frequency. Yep. Well, um, so with his, with his job... So it sounded the loudest right in this range right here. Uh, one thing I can do is I can come down here and I can narrow this um, the width of this node up here a little bit. I'm going to play through and sweep again. Knowing that his career path was likely going to, I mean, take us for sure out of Okay, now that I found the frequency, I can either pull the, free, the node the other way, or I can take this decibel marker here, and I can lower it down. And if I play it back... With, with his job, knowing... And it's gone. The last thing that we're going to take a look at is called carving. And carving is used in the audio industry uh, for mixing and mastering music. Um, <clears throat> when you're mixing and mastering music, uh, you have all of these different instruments. And for example, let's, let's look at a bass guitar. A bass guitar has got a lot of lower frequencies and not a lot of higher frequencies. Um, but if you look at it on a spectrum analyzer, you'll see frequencies all over the place. Now, when you mix that with a snare drum that has a lot of higher frequencies, not a lower, not a lower frequencies, they actually compete in the mix. So what an audio engineer would do is they'll take out the upper frequencies out of the bass guitar and they'll take out the lower frequencies from the snare drum. That way that they can dominate those specific frequency ranges. We can do that same thing in um, video editing. Um, making space in the music bed for our narration. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here in audio track one, I've got my narration, and in audio track two, I've got my music bed. I'm just going to apply my parametric equalizer and open it to edit. Uh, then I'm going to turn off all of these nodes uh, and turn back actually on node three because I know that the uh, human voice is kind of in these middle ranges. I'm going to pull it down. Um, again, I'm going to come down here to the width and make it a little bit wider. And then just so I don't have some booming bass frequencies, I'm going to lower this down just a little bit. Now let's take a listen and see what this sounds like. People come from all around to visit, live, and study in Iowa City. In and one more time, I'm going to shut this off and turn it back on while we're playing it. People come from all around to visit, live, and study in Iowa City. In 2016, it was number nine on the top 100 best places to live. As you can hear, I carved out a lot of space for the voice to come through without adjusting the volume. If you wanted to later and you wanted the, the music to be a little bit more subtle, you could come up here uh, and lower the uh, volume level in the track. Well, there you have it. Sweetening, notching, and carving. Three ways to use a parametric equalizer in your next video project. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.